So what we're working on at the moment is uh, actually continuing our work on uh, integrating very diver diverse sources of functional genomics data in trying to really understand how do cells operate. How can we take all of this um, very noisy and very heterogeneous data and try to make models of pathways uh, uh, represent, figure out the function of unknown proteins, uh, figure out how exactly they interact with other proteins and how does that lead to actually the cell functioning and causing different phenotypes. So I chose genome biology for my paper because of uh, the open access uh, in the journal and also its wide impact on both biology and bioinformaticians. For me it's important that uh, not just the people in my community read the paper but also the broad audience of genomicists, geneticists, uh, people who could really use our methods in their daily research. And so uh, that was a large part of why we chose it. Uh, but also the fast review time uh, was what we were very interested in. And in fact, that was something that we did get. Uh, and so that was really attractive for us as well. My experience publishing the paper was great. What we, um, the editorial team was uh, very fast in response. We got the first reviews back, I think, uh, within a month or maybe five weeks. Uh, and we got four reviews and all of them were actually from people who clearly understood the paper, read that um, we did have to do revisions, but it was something where we had a feeling that it made the paper really better and it wasn't just busy work that we were doing to only make the reviewers happy. So the reviewers were great. Um, I felt that the editor was extremely reasonable in terms of uh, our concerns um, and evaluating our response to reviewers. And uh, upon acceptance, the publication was almost immediate. Um, so that's been really great in terms of the experience. Uh, so when I published uh, the paper in, the, in Genome Biology, our paper was immediately accessed by hundreds of people. And I think within um, a couple of weeks or a month, there was over a thousand accesses. So over a thousand people have read it. Uh, we started getting emails uh, from very diverse people all over the world who were very interested in the paper, who were working on anything from yeast, which is actually the model organism that uh, we use in our system to uh, human health, cancer data integration, uh, other areas. Um, and the website that accompanies this paper, the system that we've developed, uh, has been getting thousands of hits uh, from everywhere. Um, and I've heard back from a lot of biologists who have read the paper and have now been using it to direct their further experiments. Um, so I think that if we hadn't sent it to Genome Biology, had sent it to a uh, specific bioinformatics journal, and potentially even if we sent it to a journal that was wider impact but more restricted access, I don't think we would have had such an immediate, such a high impact uh, from this paper. So I feel open access is very important uh, for publication of our research because uh, not every um, researcher or industry person or biologist who would be reading this paper would necessarily have access to a particular journal that uh, we may be publishing in our field in their library. Um, I also do think just out of selfish reasons as a researcher publishing in this journal, uh, that means that there's a much larger potential audience for the paper. So while we actually get the same prestige, we get a much wider access than we would in a lot of typical journals.